Hi there, I hope you're fine wherever you are. My name is Kesam, as every day, your host here on YouTube. In today's video, I'm going to make a quick one on how to use some of the features that I personally think are unique in Virtual DJ. This might not be a new thing, maybe you've known about it before, and if you haven't or if you've already known, you can feel free to watch through and then tell me which one you like down in the comments down below. For the interest of time, I'm going to make this a short video, so I might only talk about two or three of them. And then I'll drop a part two later. So please make sure you subscribe and then keep notified when I drop a part two. Without so much talking, let's take a look at what I'm talking about here. So right now, by the time of this recording, I'm using this version 2024B8056 of Virtual DJ. And it, it is the one that has some of these features some earlier versions don't have. Now the first feature that I want to talk about here is this that you're seeing right here. I'm sure you really were able to see this right away. And then know that they are unique these are called the browser shortcuts and they help you navigate through your music easily just like the crates right if you've used crates here before or how these are really made is that you can come to your folders that have music you can have crates folders uh, anything like that filter folders right as long as you have music right there so to add a new one you can just highlight select that or you can also drag it and then bring it right here so when you leave it there you create a new one it hasn't popped up because i already have that created so it won't repeat itself so for you to create a new one you need to come to a folder that you've not created this shortcut for before right so you can now easily drag it and then drop it right there seems that also has it but i'm going to select one that doesn't have right here so instead of dragging it there you can also just highlight it and then just click on that so once you click on that, you have this window popping up. I hope it's not mixing up with this. I'm just going to remove one here real quick and then uh, show you in a clear ground. So I'm going to just do it for stems, right? I have it for prepared stems already. So I'm going to do for stems to create a button for where I want to prepare my stems and then just have to click a shortcut once. So now for stems, I'm going to just drag this and drop here. And then this pops up. You can also click here once again. Now when it pops up, you, we, are going to, we are going to set an icon so you can just select anything right here to represent and now you can see. You can also remove it by right clicking and then just remove. So once again, I'm going to add stems and then select an icon. As you can see, it is selected. You can also change the color by coming to here to change icon after right clicking. The color is down below, right? So once I select the color, you see that it is right there. Another thing you can also do is that you can customize the image by selecting the icon to be any other image on your computer. Right now I don't have any images right here, but as you can see, these are tomatoes that I picked from my computer. I also picked something from my PC and stuff like that, so you can easily scroll through. What is also unique about them is that you can map them to your keyboard, so you can easily just use your keyboard to navigate through. I have zero for going upwards. And I have nine for coming down. So I'm pressing that on my keyboard. And right here, you can see that I'm navigating through my music so easily and so quickly. Doesn't matter whatever it is. As long as it is a folder on your computer or a create a filter folder, anything that has music, you can bring it right there. You also saw with the stems, I don't have music. Still, I had to create a shortcut for stems preparation right here. So I can always do it in that. So the script for navigating right here, you can just come right up to mappings and then when you come to 9 right I'm using 0 and 9 it is browser underscore shortcut plus 1 then the other one you can say browser underscore shortcut minus 1 that is basically the script for using it and that is that another unique feature that I really like using is uh, the keyboard right we have a keyboard here on the screen and I'm going to double click on a key that I have mapped right here to make sure it comes on screen. All right, so I have this keyboard that I like so much. And uh, to me personally, it doesn't have so much use, but it makes me unique in some way. If you're using a, a touch screen, this is so unique. You can easily just deal with it right here. It also has a lot of features, by the way, so you can choose to uh, minimize it, make it small, maximize it can close it right from here it also has other things right here the emojis and these symbols and stuff like that you can set them later 
under settings it has all these uh, I really like that so much and more settings are down here it has more settings right here so you can choose the layout and stuff like this you can play your videos in between depending on whatever you want to do with it it's actually very large to talk about right now you can set the themes and everything you can just take your time and go through it is actually what also helps me to change my cursor to this yellow that you're seeing you see the color of my cursor and then my pointer also has some other color so I used this keyboard here to do all that it makes me unique in some way and I think you can explore it especially if you're using a touch screen as well the third one that I want to talk about is uh, I'm somehow a selfish DJ especially if I'm working maybe on a, a competition on a battle or if I'm working with the uh, resident DJs you've you've always had issues with DJs undermining you you being a new DJ in that place and sometimes I don't want uh, people behind to see which song I am playing right you're always surrounded by those native DJs so I always like hiding that and that makes me unique in some way so how I will do that is I don't want to show the name here of this song right so I will choose to hide it how I do that is by coming to settings options just type in hide right this is actually enough so you come here to hide song info if you choose it to yes immediately you can see that this is hidden right away this is so hidden you can't see in most cases people don't focus on the library here maybe you have a video playing around here so they might not be able to see what is down here and then your song title is also hidden yourself you know what's going on that is the next one that I really like so much and that makes me so unique as a DJ uh, perhaps the last one that I want to talk about also is what is called something to do with the smart loop right so I'm going to come down to this setting I just want this to be full right here so we can see so the loop section is right here and if you click on this small button this is a smart smart loop turned on yes I like this roll feature here I don't know if you've ever tried this before but if you haven't this roll feature works pretty much as a sleep mode the sleep mode in virtual DJ which allows you to scratch do whatever you want to do with the song as long as the song is playing it picks up from the, the, the point at which it should have been playing from if it wasn't disturbed this also works the same if you're playing a song and you loop when you leave it you have to hold it down right whether you're using a keyboard or a mouse you have to hold on to this for as long as you hold on it will be looping but if you release it the song will play directly from where it was supposed to be let me just try this right away I hope you pay attention to it yeah so the song picks up from where it was supposed to be before the difference is that if I turn it off uh, like that the song will loop and stop then it will continue from that same point after the loop and you don't have to hold it down you just click once the usual way you already know this you see that so that makes me unique if I'm using it sometimes it saves me a lot of time and it is something I consider to be a unique feature there's a lot to talk about but for the interest of time I'm going to stop right here please once again go and explore deeper where you think I haven't talked much about if there's a point that you liked in this video please put it down below in the comment right here and if there's something you think I haven't added please do it in the comment as well if you like this video please give me a thumbs up also make sure you subscribe turn on the small bell I have these videos coming in each and every time and without any other issue I will have to see you in my next video peace